in in the park in the summer the tyrannosaur on the screen like 20 years later even if you're like 35 like you would be like hugging your girl mad close like you guys would be cuddling at the moment where like dudes trying to like and eat eat them through the when the sister's being stupid and she's shining the light and timmy timmy's like stop shining the light it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah yo what up world okay <laughs> i'm just gonna admit it right away i don't even know where this video is going right now i'm a slight mess i have a delicious meal a nice little treat ski actually while we're talking about treat skis i have actually like a little dessert item that's like a strawberry uh cream cheese cheesecake type thing a little strudel is what i'm trying to say uh don't usually get the desserts but in light of my last video well second last video you know a couple cookies maybe a little dessert i don't know whatever i felt in the mood it was a vibe why do i say vibe all the time i do regardless anyhow <laughs> Like I said, I'm a mess. I don't know where this video is going. Uh, I don't even know how to explain everything, but I will. We're doing Popeyes again. I just did the ghost pepper wings and shit. Um, <laughs> one specific viewer out in my field might appreciate, and it's probably why it's happening, uh, on my semi-intoxicated walk home. Walk home? Nah, I didn't end up walking. I took a cab, but while I was walking down the street, I was like, I need to have a meal, I'm gonna make a video. And uh, these hot honey tenders were on my mind. So, you know what I mean? How dare you corrupt me? But, I got the hot honey tender from Popeyes. It's got a biscuit. They look bang though, like, Although they don't look as covered in the sauce as I'd like them to. That's kind of one thing that it were like where my head's at. It's like I feel like there should be more. But the tendies do look banging. And according to them, it's like it's their house sauce or whatever. So let's break down the box. At least give you that frontal view. Hopefully you can see it. But you got to break down the box. Every man knows. <laughs> you got to break down the box. Okay. I know. I'll stop. I'll shut up. I'm being too much. Okay. Mashed potatoes. Well, let's give you a little creepy look. There you go. Creep on those. A little spark. A little jail situation get that in there this meal is a little um i don't even know what the word is congealed this meal is congealed a little bit just for the fact that it's just it was it's in the backpack and kind of took a little time to get home and whatever whatever but we got the black and ranch and <laughs> For some reason, I got Cajun cocktail sauce. Ask me why, I don't know. But the Black and Ranch is always just gorgeous.org on my tongue. So there's that. And I, I think I got cocktail sauce because I love cocktail sauce. I don't think or know that it belongs on chicken to any degree. But it's like, we'll, we'll see. Like, I'm always down to see, so. Okay. Sweet. I'm very happy with what's happening here, in a sense. Okay. I can't front. I just need to go in on a chicken tender. I get hooted in a weird way. I want to get into the sauce, and the sauce unfortunately isn't touching this tip and not this tip so it's like
let's just middle bite it. And upon the middle bite, I have to say, the hot honey It's nice. It's a pleasing flavor. It's also not too hot and not too honey. So that's cool. Hmm. Mm hmm. But the tender is on point. So I know that I recently did Popeyes. But it was a whole different thing. It was ghost pepper wings. And I like to try to change it up as time goes on, but I was in like a situation mashed potatoes and or scenario where I was trying to head home from like a night of a fairly chill night to be honest but on my path I wasn't familiar with the street in the sense of like I knew I didn't know like what fast food or what was going to be on there and I actually came across like a Donaire shop and I almost got Donaire's But I realized that I had done something similar to that recently with the gyro, or however you say it. So I didn't want to go down that lane, and also my crave just wasn't there. As per this channel, you guys know. I crave chicken a lot. Fried chicken wings, tenders, whatever. in various forms so when I stumbled across the the ad on the window for the honey hot tenders and somebody recently had told me about them I was like I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit You're dang right. I'm gonna try these these tenders. These honey hot tendies. Mm. 
Mm -mm. I had a choice of side with this meal. That's not gonna be on there. Maybe I'll do, I don't know, ketchup, shepherd's pie. Could be gross, I don't know, whatever. Pretty good. I had a choice of whatever side and I chose the mashed potatoes because I just think they're the most consistently delicious. Part of me thought, get the fries, but another part of me thought, logistically, by the time you get home, they're going to be trash. I was just thinking about fries. It's like, fries are a on location side in my opinion another thing that happened to me tonight tonight was In the city, in the summer, they have like movies in the park. So there's various parks around Toronto that they set up a almost like inflatable screen. No, no, it's not. What am I doing? And then they project a movie onto the screen which is dope I'm into it it's very like if you ever seen like a rom-com like a drama movie or it feels very like that it's like in real life though it's like people couples or friends like all bring their blankets and their chips and their little drinks and their dog and their joints and they sit and we collect as humans and we watch a, a movie in the park together it's all peaceful and nice and cute my only issue with it is that they showed this like old-timey flick which I get they're going for this like certain aesthetic or this nostalgia or whatever But it's like I know we all want to believe in this cute love And that's what those old films kind of portray And it's a certain vibe and aesthetic for the mood and the moment But it's like As millennials And as the majority of people that are at, at this actual event It's like can we not just hit some like Honey I Shrunk the Kids or Jurassic Jurassic Park or Toy Story or I don't know, just like some something more more relevant. And even then, those movies are already like twenty years old. Just something more banging. Like I feel like if you're gonna gather all these humans that are gonna get a buzz on and like be in love and all this shit. It's like put on like if you if you're in the park right all these trees this the whole vibe and then you put on JP Jurassic Park the ultimate best classic movie ever of all time in my opinion has a perfect blend of the word why is it taking so long uh, I I don't omin ominence it's not the right word fuck why do I not know the word 
the word it, like 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 it's 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 low key terrifying. Like it has like a this terrifying vibe, but it's kind of like dinosaurs and like cute and playful, but also like terrifying. The ambience of that film is like it's scary as shit. I feel like that in in the park in the summer, the tyrannosaur on the screen. Like twenty years later, even if you're like thirty five, like you would be like hugging your girl mad close. Like you guys would be cuddling at the moment where like dudes trying to like and eat eat them through the when the sister's being stupid and she's shining the light and Timmy Timmy's like. Stop shining the light. And she's all apologetic. She's like, sorry. And so you're gonna be responsible for our deaths, bitch. Like That's what I'm saying. It's like They should have been playing something. Like way more gener gener generationally on point. Because you know for sure the people showing up to these events are like anywhere from 25 to at least on mass like the greater percentage of the people are probably 25 to 35 40 and then, you know there's some old farts and some young kids and even the young youngs will probably still appreciate like these more 90s movies and then the old people will just have to deal and even then they still had to take their kids like the baby boomers had to take their kids to these movies any, anyway so it's like they probably know them as well So I don't know why they insist on playing this old school shit. That's really what I'm trying to say. At this point, it just feels dated. Like, like we're past that point. Like black and white ain't cute, you know? What I will say is seeing the whole vibe of everybody like in their little groups or couples or date night. gave me such a relative feel to like those old timey movies though it gave me that whole like just like that Pleasantville like kind of restored my faith in like romance at least for the time being not that I fully believe in it because in today's day and age, we're all pretty much self-centered, egotistical, self-absorbed kind of pieces of shit on, like, Tinder and Bumble and that, but I'm being too much. But at the same time, it's, like, true. It's, like, we're transitioning into a time where it's, like, the idea of that, like, cute, real, deep love is, like, not a thing anymore. Unless it's with honey hot chicken tenders. And then it's for real. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's like, it's real. It's like, 
relationships, like the old time shit, it's not the same anymore. It's just everything's a little more surface, face value, a little more fleeting. There's so much, there's just so many options. There's so many ways to find other people or have other people at your like beck and call. You. We just live in this like snip, snap, snap, quick, varietous life now. It's like, it was easier to be loyal and shit back then. So, it was also easier to stay with your partner back then because you didn't have access at the tip of your thumbs all day every day to like find somebody else right so it's like i'm not saying that it's wrong where we're going because i don't i think i think natural progression human natural progression technology or whatever it may be like i think maybe we are moving into a more accurate representation of really where we should be where i feel i feel like marriage and the one and all that shit is a very antiquated idea. Like, I personally have believed that my whole life. I've never felt completely, like... I've never had this one-itis. Like, I need this one person, in a sense. Like, I don't... I just don't know that that's... For me, it's like... I love di- different foods. Like, I wouldn't eat pizza every day. So why would I fuck pizza every day? You know what I mean? Why? I love burgers, but, like... I wouldn't marry a burger. Like, I wouldn't eat a burger every single day and then forget about everything else. Like, some days you need vegetables. Some days you, <laughs> you need a well-balanced meal. Some days you just want to pick out. Some days, like, it's just, it's like the same thing. It's like, I think humans, we we crave variety and spice of life and difference and change. And I think the whole idea of, like, there's this one person for you that, fulfills your every need is like it's just so asinine to be honest if that's how i'm really feeling and it's like if you found some okay i'm gonna crack this open this this dessert see what it looks like in there i don't know oh it looks pretty good mmm quite good Cheese and sweet works together. I used to eat... Why am I picking my teeth like this? I used to eat raspberry... Toasted raspberry and... Toasted raspberry jam and cheese sandwiches. And at first you're like, what the fuck? That sounds terrible. It was sweet and fat work really good together but yeah back what I was just saying is like if you found it and it works for you good on you I pre like I wish you the most happiness but I feel like for the most part We as humans, like, we go through seasons and changes and ages and decades and waves and I just don't understand personally how this one other person can, like, serve your needs for the rest of your life unless you've made that internal sacrifice in yourself to say, even though I'm bored as fuck with this human, which is inevitable, if you get married, you're eventually going to get bored of each other, you're going to know each other inside and out, it's, there's going to be nothing new, sex becomes boring, conversations become boring, da 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 but you still have comfort in each other, you understand each other, like, those are the trade-offs, but what I'm saying is, as humans, I really think, as time goes on, It's like we need that new energy, this this subject to change, that new invigorating thing. It's like if you're too stagnant in one thing for too long, I 
I think it's just soul crushing. At least for me, it is. That's all I'm saying. But I don't know if we were ever designed to be like that. I just think that the union of the two people was introduced by like corporate type of life like that when everything boomed up and it was like if you get married and have these kids and it's like the whole like it's the consumerist boxed lifestyle but it's designed by the, the the uppers to like be like no this is what you need you need to be this you need to be that you need to get this car two cars a home two and a half kids you need to always be needing to buy shit you need to da -da 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 -da, na -na -na -na, ba -na -ba -na -ba. it's just like an ever going ongoing cycle in this wheel of like you need to consume 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 and having a family like that that standard family keeps you in the consumer wheel but anyways going too deep going too far but not at the same time because my true thought my true opinion and technically i honestly think it's accurate and i believe it uh but you know i don't want to get it too crazy for now so <laughs> that was like incredibly delicious and uh till the next one you know what to do you gotta eat good live well and stay true true being the most important all right, peace.